So some years ago, probably about four, yeah, probably four or five years ago, I was a moderator, moderator of a, a group, um, and I was making videos and you know sort of had my own problems, you know, from being scammed. Um, what I believe is scammed. People believe me or don't believe me. Now um, I put a message in the on the message board. Does anyone in the group want to learn how to make videos um, so they could make scam videos themselves instead of me making them? Well, anyway, one girl contacted me, and you know this is on the IM, and lived in Colorado. I'm, you know, I'm in Australia, and we striked up a conversation, and I thought, oh yeah, well she's single. You know, I asked her. Hey, you know, if she was single, yeah, she's single. And I said, well, do you want to um, try a date and see if um, things work out on the internet when we meet each other? Yeah, 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 yeah. She was all for it, you know. And you know. Anyway, um, it started off pretty much weird, you know. I got I got her phone number, and. You know, anyway, I was tried teaching her how to make videos. But I got her phone number, and when I was ringing up, she would hang up, and other times she would answer. Oh, that's just fucking weird. Little weird old Blackberry from a single girl. Um, then her computer, when I'd try to contact her also, um, sometimes it would work, and then she'd say it'd crash, and then she'd have to reboot and reload and everything else, and, you know... The, stupid piece of shit wasn't working. Well, anyway, it, it came down to a, a number of conversations. She said, you know, before we met, I was invited to a party to meet this man. Um, I hope you don't mind that I go there and have sex with him because, you know, I haven't had it for a while, la, la, la. Um, but, it, but I planned this before I met you. Oh, you fucking weirdo. I thought, uh, and she said, you know, I won't do this if you say no. And I said, well, I don't want you to do something that, you know, would jeopardise, you know, the development that would come further on the relationship. Well, weeks went by. We're talking about probably about three weeks um, of a lot of clowning and bullshit and, you know, can't contact you and should get on sometime early of the early hours of the morning, I would think, in um, American time, and she'd be sitting there in a little nighty, and when she was talking, she was looking like this, you know, looking around, talking to me, and then, you know, you think, well, if you're single, what are you looking for? And then one day, just to cut the story short, uh, within that three-week period, um, I could get this, you know, I mean, they vanish for days or hours or week, you know, for days. And you wonder, what's going on with all this shit? Well, I get this message that um, she has been to hospital, she's got a brain aneurysm, is going to die, she, she's come home, she's got a clot in her brain, nice meeting you, move on, go and see someone else, and da 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 da. Um, and then that was it. I tried calling, no, no answer. I tried the internet, no answer. And I got a bit sort of like panicky. You know, here's this girl I met. And within the three-week period, I've developed a little bit of a feeling, you know. Um, and she's going to die, you know, if it's some brain aneurysm sort of. Um, how do I get in contact with this person? So... Anyway, I, I managed to get hold of her in the end, and she survived the night. But, you know, um, she then I said, you know, something's just not right here. You know, you're speaking to me a load of crap. And then she rings up on the telephone, how dare you? You know, not believe me and all this sort of stuff. And then she tried this little, um, this little thing, well, uh, there's something that I haven't told you. I'm married. Oh, jeez. And here we go. And then she, then she tried this um, little bullshit. Well, I didn't want to be with a married woman. I'm telling you, I didn't. I, I believe that she was single. She was telling me she was single. 
everything led that she was single. The thing was, when I said show me your hand, this happened two times, you know, you'd have probably, you know, normal conversation. You'd say, show me your, show me your hand. You know, something wasn't registering and show me your hand and you'd, you'd sort of see her do that and then she'd, you know, but you'd see a little ring mark around the finger. You know, you'd think, ah, oh, something's something not right. But anyway, she, she tried this little bullshit thing that she decided that she was going to break it off with her husband and she wanted to be with me. But because she broke it off with her husband, um, under the marriage terms and agreement, that I cost her one point whatever million dollars. And she loses her Mercedes and she loses all this and she, you know, and all she walks or walks out with was something like $530. So I cost her a million dollars because she wanted to be with me um, and told him and told the solicitor, oh, but bullshit, you didn't want to be with nothing. So anyway, she kept carrying on and I thought, well, bull I don't want to be with a, a woman like that. Um, but, you know, being stupid, you still continue on a little bit of a trying to, you know, make sense of it all. Um... You know, and when she said, she said, you know, I don't have any money for um, taking my grandkids to a, to at least a, a dumpy house to pay rent, and I'm going to be on the streets walking around with shopping bags and shit like that. And then later on, this is um, when Obama, I think, first got in, or John McCain, or whoever it was, um, back then, um, for maybe five years ago, they had some convention speech at um, somewhere in Colorado. And, you know, you see there, there was an article and you see her doing the, the, the deaf and dumb act, you know, for um, interpretation of, for, for the deaf and dumb. And I thought, that girl must be living on a borrowed T-shirt because she was supposed to have been poor, destitute, Homeless, the husband took everything because she wanted to be with me. Um, the whole crap like that. I thought this is a lot. It's, something's not right. <laughs> but and I left the message that Obama or whoever it was must have given her a, a, um, a t-shirt because I felt sorry for her. Um, and I'm so. Anyway, the girl was going to die that night. She's um, decided that she's t tell the husband that she wants to be with me, uh, which basically I didn't want to be with a married woman. Secondly, she's lost everything, uh, one point whatever million and her, and her Mercedes Benz and whatever else. I don't think she knows. Then, after all that, she decides that she wants to be in my groups. You know, contacting... Uh, you know, joining my groups. And I thought, well, I don't want a woman like you joining my groups. So I started telling people, hey, you know, be careful of this woman who lives in Colorado. Um, she acts Christian, does all these sort of things. But at the same time, she pretends that she's single, but she's married. She's even pulled the death act on me. Um, that she's gone home to die. Um, and, uh, you know, when someone tells you and you know them for a little while, you feel a little bit devastated by the, the fact that they're going to die. So anyway, she tried joining these little groups and then, for some reason, the previous girl from Sacramento started contacting her. And I think both of them were fucking teaming up. Or something, oh, so, oh, it was darn weird, I'll tell you about that one time. Um, double girls on the internet d teaming up. This one sent the other one the message. I've, I've saved all these messages saying, well, hello, my name is da-da-da-da-da. Um, if there's something going on between you and Paul, I don't want to get in the way and please let me know so I can back off. And But there was nothing going on with that girl in that one in the end. So the only the only person in the long term who made sense of all this shit um, was my wife, um, my, my now wife. 
Um, for instance, um, if I mentioned oh, it's still difficult. It's still a difficult. Um, I know. I, I know that we all get scammed, but this is still difficult to still talk about it because it just doesn't make sense. These people who are married and who who scam, um, they get they must have a boring um, life at home with their husbands, or the husbands are out working, or whatever may be. So they decide to have. Um, romance is on the side and then when they get too serious on the side then they sort of like back off back down and um, sort of like come up with scenarios that just doesn't make sense you know it's it's just difficult and then when the girl was trying to contact me I would make it clear that I didn't want her, and then she'd pretend that you weren't. Co I wasn't contacting you, or um, you tell that sick person of your past not to contact me. And uh, I don't want to tell. I don't want to communicate. Don't want to do nothing. Um, so it's it's difficult. But yeah, you get the women on the on the internet who um, shit. A little bug. You get women on the internet who are married and pretend to be single. Um, that was a wake-up call for me, and I didn't expect that, especially from meeting someone in a scam group where I was a moderator, scam help group, I was abbreviating, um, where I was a moderator. Um, I didn't expect um, a whole lot of stuff. And it's it's surprising how... There's that. There's so many Christian girls out there. I don't know about the men's side because I don't rarely understand that area. But there's a lot of Christian girls out there who are married who are on the internet scamming single men, um, just so they can have, you know, communication, attention, IM sex or webcam sex or whatever may be. All these things. Um, and then when when it becomes serious or it goes south, they're off like the clappers. And then later on, they start doing say, oh, start. This is another post of something later, um, saying that you're stalking them, um, that they're not contacting you. You're contacting them. And you know, what? They're contacting you. you you're a, you're a, it's either reply back or block them or whatever may be and you know you'd say stop it I don't want I don't want you in my group you bar them from your group they change their ready and they rejoin again they just want to they want they want you more when you don't want them and um, I call that scamming because if you're married and you're pretending and you are you know with on single people um, and then telling them that you've lost your home um, by the end of the week because you know the solicitor's taken it over. I wanted to be with you, and I've lost a million and something dollars by coming clean. And I've, you know, da 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 da. It's fucking girls' tricks. It's it's not it's not right. 